The art of making a good cocktail often involves a concoction of ingredients, the study of tradition, the mindfulness of trends, and increasingly, the absence of any alcohol. Whether it's for health, relationships, or comfort, mocktails are on the rise. Obviously, the challenge with a non-alcoholic cocktail is that you know, the way you carry flavour is always different because you don't have the luxury of something as easy as an alcohol to work with. Hi, my name's Will. I'm the head bartender here um, in Lioness. Consumers who come into this bar, they come in for the, the, the whole experience. Um, that may involve consuming both alcoholic and non-alcoholic cocktails, but the experience isn't dependent on what they're consuming. Every day, Will mixes up cocktails and mocktails alike. Will and many others actually prefer the phrase non-alcoholic cocktails. But even without any costly liqueurs, these non-alcoholic cocktails can rack up a big bill themselves. I definitely think that we are moving away from a world where you know, syrup topped up with a soft drink constitutes a non-alcoholic cocktail. An average cocktail at Lioness costs almost $17, with non-alcoholic cocktails costing around $10. It is less, but drinking a few of these could still put you back $40. A lot of it can be traced back to the ingredients used in non-alcoholic cocktails. Vegan honey, homemade cordial and potato cream are high-end items that Will says balances out the cost. Non-alcoholic cocktails are coming so much more in-depth, intricate, so much more balanced and so much more rounded than they've ever been. So the people that haven't been drinking now finally see something of value that they can consume and they're willing to pay the money that, that's required to enjoy that. Non-alcoholic cocktails aren't new, but alternatives to spirits, wine and beer have accelerated in the last few years and bartenders see the trend of a non-alcoholic experience is only growing. I think the demand for that non-alcoholic drinking experience is definitely going to be there. And mainly because I think people are more conscious of what they're putting in their bodies. I think there's a lot of people that are doing amazing things at the moment in the non-alcoholic industry. And I think as long as we keep putting our foot on the gas and don't let up, then it's only going to get better.